Yeah, I think it was just the sort of the the, the, the fresh take on this genre, you know, yeah. was, was moving away from the stereotypical version of this film. Uh, it was something we always kind of spoke about, me and the producer, even when we started the project like three or four years ago, it was just like, how can we intentionally make like a working class film that has more joy and like more colour and more happiness in it? Um, I think I'd like grown up watching a lot of the desaturated, like super bleak yeah. ones, which were like incredible films, but yeah, always felt like they were missing the joy of those communities, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Were, were there kind of particular films that you kind of looked to as in terms of inspiration for some of the stuff that you wanted to, to bring to this one? Yeah, yeah. I, I love like um, Tyker's early films, like Boy and things like that. Yeah. I feel like do that, like Florida Project does it quite well you know it's dealing with heavy topics but it does it in a way where the kids play feels more central than the heavy topic does you know it's almost yeah. secondary to their joy I guess and yeah. like Paris Texas and Paper mm. Moon and films like that for yeah. sure yeah, yeah yeah I think it was just the sort of the the, the, the fresh take on this genre you know yeah. was, was moving away from the stereotypical version of this film in a, in a British landscape and it felt like it was tackling a multitude of themes in, in exciting ways with, with comedy and magical realism and um, it's also much funner working with like younger performers because mm. they like Lola for example she had never you'd never acted in a film before no. but she's an amazing actor and there's no like set way yeah. so, like she just does it and that's fun because we've got to really mess around and, and play on set and um, for me, that is just way more interesting than yeah. going and doing this like formal thing with people that think they need to do it a certain way. Yeah. Um, it was all very much, yeah, like written in. Even the one of the very first drafts had a version of those sequences. Like obviously they've evolved and grown. I was writing ones that were like way too expensive or like just unachievable. And then when Molly, my DP, came on board, she was like, we can take the feeling that you've created in this, but do it in a way that doesn't cost the entire budget or yeah. isn't like an absolute nightmare for your producer, Theo. Um, so yeah, the style things were always in and, and lots of people who worked on the film came up through music videos. So I feel like everyone was like very comfortable in that space yeah. of kind of like breaking the usual kind of storytelling rules and doing weird things, even if they were a bit dodgy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think humour is an Im important part of, um, of, of psychology. We need humour in order to sort of accept the more dramatic themes within, within art. So I feel like it's, it's very important. Didn't find it too bad because I don't I don't remember actually making myself cry. All I remember was someone rubbing something under my eye, oh. and then I just started crying. <laughs> so I don't actually remember it being that hard.